Okay. You get to keep the money. Well, this makes it over. It's over. A deal is a deal. Let's get out of here. Nice job. Thanks. Look, uh, I'll buy you a drink and get cleaned up. I don't think that's such a great idea. What's the matter? Just not now. You got to trust me on this one. Because of the life I now lead, even the possibility of happiness is an illusion. If by chance Jonathan really is my father, then it's best for everyone when I leave. Better to risk my own sanity than the lives of innocent people. This has something to do with your troubles, doesn't it, Tom? Uh, you know, it's just, it's better for everybody if I leave. But why can't you talk about it? Why can't you tell me? You helped me with my problem. Let me help you with yours. It's not that easy. It's not easy because you make it hard. Look, you have a family here. You have a life. You don't need my problems to. Tom, Tom, that's... That's what families are. For better and for worse. Come back? If I can, yeah. There's still a lot that we haven't said, you know. I know. You still can't rid of those walls, can you? Oh, maybe someday. We got that extra room, Tom. It's yours anytime you want it. Oh, thanks. Maybe when you come back, you can teach me how to throw a curveball. Okay. So long. See ya. I walked away from Jonathan and his family. It reminded me of everything else I've left behind. My wife, Allison, my friends, any sense of safety or shelter. But until I discover just what's happened to me and who's behind it, I have no choice but to continue my search alone. Johnny, why don't you get your gloves? We'll pitch a few. can match its intensity. No other drama can copy its spine-tingling style. So if you haven't been watching Nowhere Man, 
This is the week to start. The people here will stop at nothing to get what they want from you. Thomas Vale finds himself back in the place where his nightmare began. Give up the negatives or die. Only in this asylum, it's the doctors who are insane. What did you bastards do to me? Nowhere Man. A brand new episode next Monday on UPN. I had it all. A wife, Allison, friends, a career. And in one moment, it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. It's been over nine months since this twisted odyssey began. With every day that passes, I get farther away from my old life. And lately, I'm starting to doubt my ability to recall events accurately. Whatever hidden agenda is or was is becoming less clear every day. Did I experience what I thought I did? And if so, were the events themselves real? Or could they have been staged? Maybe these doubts are a side effect of my current condition. I haven't slept in the last nine days. Not an hour. Not a minute. Am I doing this to myself? Or is it what happens to a person who's been cut off for too long? Can I get you anything else? Come on, honey. I don't, I don't have, have all night. Well, what's it gonna be? Oh, what's the matter with you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't like the idea of submitting to another institution, but I didn't know where else to turn. I had to find out what was wrong with me. Why couldn't I sleep? JAMA, New England Journal, Neurology. What are you looking for? Look, you want to stop acting like I'm not here? What are you doing? Found it. There was a controlled experiment done about two years ago at a private clinic. I don't know what they were looking for, but what they ended up with was an induced condition identical to yours. What do you mean, insomnia? More. In the worst cases of sleep disorders, the patient manages a few minutes a day. The side effects of this experiment were uninterrupted insomnia. The indications are identical, same signatures on the lab work. What do I do to fix it? Unfortunately, there was nothing more published after the initial results. I guess the people at Callaway decided to scrap it. It's funny because... Callaway? Were... You mean the hospital in Illinois? You've heard of it? I'm not deluded. I, I have no paranoid obsession. I have no paranoid obsession. Obsessions. I've been there. journey started. It's where I met Dr. Bellamy, my first interrogator, the man responsible for my initial debriefing and evaluation. 
the man who tried to convince me from the beginning that I was having some kind of breakdown. The man who was machine gunned right before my eyes when he failed to retrieve my negative for hidden agenda. What are you doing here? This area is restricted to the Emperor and his Praetorian Guard. I must ask you to leave at once. Psst. These are dangerous times. Right. Someone. Please, listen, just listen. My name is Michael Kramer, and I'm not crazy. It's a practical joke. It's gone too far. Someone put my family up to this. Listen, you got to listen. Why is everyone acting like I don't exist? No, no, no. Get back to your room. I'm just Get back to your room. It's trying to help. Somebody's not where he belongs. What do you got? I don't know. Keep tracking him. I'll get an ID. Get me Gilmore. Take him to 3A. Tell Dr. Novick I want to see him right away. Is this really necessary? I... Orders from Dr. Novick.
Tom Vale. Yes, I know. So you do remember me? No. We've never met. What are you saying? My name is Dr. Novick, and I'm here to help you. No. No. <laughs> no. Your name is Joe Carter. Everybody called you JC. We were both in this place nine months ago. Why are you pretending to be somebody else? Sit down. There's been a policy change. Game over. Give up the negatives or die. Mind if I smoke? Is that a yes or a no? Why are you doing this, JC? What's happening? You haven't slept in two weeks. It's beginning to take its toll. You're doing this to yourself, Tom. I just want to go back to a normal life. And you will, Tom. Now, yeah. where are they? of sleep deprivation is that it doesn't shut down that part of the brain that produces nightmares. You're not getting the 10 negatives. But you know we will. Eventually, we will. Why can't you understand what we do here is for your own good? It benefits everyone. I've seen your better world. It's full of zombies. You've seen it too, J.C. Oh, here we go again, huh? Back to J.C. OK. Maybe you're right. Maybe J.C. doesn't exist. Right? Just humor me here for a second, Doc. Uh, what were you doing a year ago? I was right here at Callaway. Would you go to medical school or college? What was your childhood like? Who were your parents, Doc? Have it your way.
sorry. I'm sorry. Give me that. I'm, I... You're off limits. Oh, I was just taking a walk. Alan, back. remove this gentleman to a secure area. Come on, buddy. Let's go play some ping pong. You got a cigarette? A cigarette? You know, little white tubes with tobacco in them? A cigarette. <sighs> Great. Let me guess, your ATM card doesn't work? Your key doesn't fit in your front door, and everyone you've ever known treats you like a stranger. How do you know that? Give him anyone's name. Not your family, not your friends, no one. What are you talking about? The people you care about are in danger. Novik is not here to help you. What are you saying? That Novik is part of this? I'm just saying from here on in, trust nobody. The people here will stop at nothing to get what they want from you. Be careful. How do you know that? still think I'm delusional. It's you. That's who you really are. Joe Carter. No. <clears throat> Please, you shouldn't be here. Neither should you. I didn't make this up. Why is it such a leap to think that you were once on the other side? I'm your only chance, JC. I'm your memory. So let me help you. I don't need your help. Now, please. I have work to do. Just check out the file of Joe Carter. Who is this? Emily, who are you? 
I'm a friend of your daddy's, Emily. My daddy's in heaven with my grandma and grandpa. Do you remember your daddy? happening to me. You got something you want. I don't have anything. Yeah, you do, you do. You just don't know it yet. What do you do, Michael? I sell real estate. So real estate. But no one in my office recognizes me. None of my friends recognize me. Hey, listen to me, listen to me, man. Listen to me. It's time, Doctor. Time? The treatment room's been prepared. Yeah, it's time to move things along. Right. Right. The treatment room, yes. Is there a problem? No. No. I was just thinking about the case. It is your opinion that he's ready. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, after you. Okay. on the telephone it just doesn't make any sense i'm real i gotta be i, I mean i know it's hard jc you got you gotta open your mind man just and look at the facts because that's what's gonna get you through this yesterday i was a happy man a successful doctor my life in place. Today, nothing fits. Everything's turned around. I know. But it's the truth. That's what you gotta face, man. Why? So I can end up like you. On the run. Without a life. Unable to trust anyone. There's one person I can trust. Maybe. But so what? Let's get out of here, JC. You don't seem to understand it, so let me make it as simple as I possibly can. Joe Carter's dead. So is Thomas Vale.
taking some extra interest in the Vale case, I see. What do you mean? I see you've accessed the main computer to pull down some extra files. Oh, those. Well, I felt I could do a better job if I had a little more background on him. I don't want to have to micromanage you, Neil. We give you everything you need. Yes. You're right. I'm sorry. All set for tomorrow's procedure? All set. Good. Where you been? I've been waiting half the night. I wait till we're safe. The guards are running late. Are you sure it's clear? Well, we're gonna find out. Get your other side. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? What are they gonna do to us if we get caught? Look, we are caught. If you're not up for it, you can stay. I'm out of here. Let's go. Turn around, put your hands behind your head. Do it! Bad move, Tom. Why did I listen to you? They were gonna let me go, now they're never gonna believe me. Sorry, Tom. Where do you want him? Central. I want him reclassified. You want to go there now? Now! I'm not taking any chances. OK. Get moving. Come on, get in.
What are you doing? Probably making a big mistake. Come on, let's go. How you doing, Bill? It's OK. They're with me. Yeah, they just left the premises. Someone want to tell me what the hell is going on? This has definitely been the weirdest 48 hours of my life. Well, I wish I could tell you it was over. Damn. What? I think we're being followed. We're almost out of gas. Ten bucks, huh? I gotta go take a leak. Right back. What do you know about this guy, Novik? I don't trust anybody. Get in the car. What's wrong? Now. Just get in the car. Why are you asking me? Michael, Michael! Man, let's go! Damn, a homing device. You son of a bitch! You gave us up! I'm sorry. They told me I'd end up like you. I just want this to be over. It's over! Let's go. Let's get out of here! State lines that way. I'm not going that way. 
I'm going home. It's not a good idea, JC. That's the first place they're gonna look for you. You gotta see Emily, man. JC, you can't. I know. I know what's ahead of me. Go on. I'll be all right. You haven't told me everything, have you? What is Calloway? What do they do there? Calloway is a place where certain members of the scientific community perform certain experiments. So I was an experiment. What they do to me, JC? They rewired you, man. What are you saying? Just that. They reworked your entire neural architecture. How? Oh, hey, how? I, I, I escaped. Did you? Or is that just what you remember? I did. I, I know I did. Hey, I'll be right there. Hey, look, I don't have all the answers. Maybe you did escape, but that's not even important now. These people, they have a plan. The agenda, that's what they call it. Hidden agenda. Their work in mind control is being applied to a small sample. The success rate, unfortunately, is staggeringly high. They're almost ready to apply it to. To whom? To whom? To whomever they choose. I gotta rethink everything. There's no time. What does that mean? Tell me. If I knew, I would. Come on, buddy. I don't got all night. Good luck, Tom. What they did to me was different than what they did to J.C. His procedure was surgical. They took his memory all at once. What they did to me nine months ago was electrochemical. I'm on a clock. All the things that have been happening to me, the sleep deprivation, the delusions, mean the clock is about to strike 12. The pills J.C. gave me were just a reprieve from the inevitable. Soon. All my memories will be gone. Without ceasing to breathe, I will cease to exist. His wife betrayed him. Who are you? A conspiracy tried to destroy him. You got no idea what these people are capable of. And now an accident has left him unconscious. Are you with us, Tom? Only one thing could be worse. Waking up. None of it is real. There is no enemy. Get ready for an hour of drama as intense as any network movie you'll ever see. What happened to me was real. Coma, a special nowhere man. A brand new episode next Monday on UPN.